Hey guys, so we are in an odd location today. We're, we're still in my kitchen, which is where I filmed my get ready with me. It'll be up later in the week. Um, basically, I've been trying to film a few videos and refilming and refilming and basically I want to just get it filmed. So I'm not going to fuss about with setting and lighting and whatever. We're standing next to my humming fridge if anyone's here from a long time ago. You'll remember the sound of my fridge in the background. This is my beautiful fridge. This fridge is like, guys, this fridge is like 11 years old. Like this is, this is a trooper of a fridge. But we're not here to talk about fridges. I'm sure you've read the title. You know this video is about me going on a no-buy. Like a real, real hardcore no-buy. Um, there, there are several things that triggered this. One of which is this, this idea that I have about, well not just idea, this plan I have about getting out of debt by the time I'm 35. At the moment I'm 30. I would like to be debt free by the time I'm 35 and look into growing up and owning a car and owning a home and these are things that I've been wanting for the longest time and just putting off getting into the groove of getting there and it's either now or never because like I'm not getting any younger, the economy is probably not going to get better for a long time, so I need to do things of my own accord to make it happen. Hey! These cheeky chappies. <coughs> oh bloody hell, what happened there? Mm -hmm. You enjoying your cereal? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What you having? You having cereal? You having cornflakes? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You like cornflakes? That's another reason I want to get debt free is for the kids so that we can do things, go on holiday and, you know, like, I am on generally a low income, like, relatively speaking a low income, but I'm not, like, in poverty. I like I earn a decent amount of money but if it wasn't all going well it would be a decent amount of money if it wasn't all going to paying off debt um so yeah the idea is that I focus all my energies into paying off my debt for the next five years and then we can have a life that I hoped we'd have you see and the reason I'm taking this drastic action right now um it's because you guys know about what happened back in March. I had this little sort of financial crisis, which I spoke to my creditors, we got it all resolved. I will link the video in the info box if you haven't seen it already. And after that, things got into a nice routine. Then I had a little bit of a needing to replace things crisis in May, which again, that got resolved quite nicely. Um, but then, in July I got a letter from the benefits office basically telling us that for the entire time we've lived here, which has been two years, we have been grossly overpaid benefits. Grossly overpaid. Um, by the time I found this, I, I actually only found this out because my housing office called me and told me I was six weeks behind my rent. Um, I contacted the benefits office and they said that they'd sent out a letter which I evidently hadn't received and they had made no other means, no other attempts at contacting me, which I thought was atrocious. I almost went off on one of the women on the phone, but I was like, no, if I do that, she's going to be less inclined to help me. So <laughs> I bit my tongue. Um, so that, that was... That was fun. So not only was I six weeks behind in rent, I had two years worth of overpaid housing benefit and overpaid council tax rebate, so which amounted to the sum of around seven and a half thousand pounds. So all this time since I've lived here, I've been getting my debt down, um, and then since April, I've been really working hard at getting my debt down. 
Um, the only things, the only money that I've been spending on myself really has been the tips that I've earned at work. I have picked up some bits and pieces of makeup over the last few months. I, I do have a show and tell video coming up that you'll see that in. Um, but the, the, on the grand scheme of things, I haven't been splurging on myself or just generally. Um, I've even been, I take that back slightly. We did splurge a bit on the kids because Asda was having a very massive clearance sale. So we stocked up on shoes in bigger sizes because ordinarily shoes and Asda for kids are anywhere between five and eight pounds. They were doing them for two pound fifty a pair. I was like, we cannot pass this up. <laughs> like, they're not gonna go bad. They're not gonna rot. So we stocked up on shoes for the next two years which I think was a good a good foresight of ours. Um, so yeah, I haven't been living frivolously. Um, we've been very... So in the meantime, we have a system in place. I have my system with my creditors in place. Um, we've got a system in place with the benefits office, the rent office. All these direct debits set up, I have money going aside in preparation for paying my electric bills. Um, but in all honesty, the only way that I'm going to get all this debt paid off in the next five years, and one of the reasons why I need it to be within the next five years, is we live in council accommodation, as you know. I have a son and I have a daughter. We live in a two bedroom house. So either <laughs> my partner and I are gonna have to move into the living room and give up the second bedroom or um, we need to move into a three bed because by law once children hit puberty they're not supposed to be in the same bedroom together and because Luna is older that's gonna happen sooner she's three and like not to be TMI or anything, but girls in my family at <laughs> puberty quite young. Um, I don't really want her having to like feel secretive about her bodily functions when she hits that tender age because she has a younger brother in your room. And the way things tend to work in the council is if you owe them any kind of money, you can't move in their system until you've paid that off. Um, so, planning very hard, far ahead here um, to try and get all of this paid off before we're at a point where we need to move so that when we do need to move, there's nothing hindering our application. So, for the next five years, or as long as I can possibly do this for, the goal is five years, but I've... I've never seen anyone do it. I've never seen anyone do it. Even in my personal life, I've never seen anyone do it. Go on, like, basically, um, commercial fasting, I suppose you'd call it. Ew. What gives me hope is I've seen a lot of you guys reach your year mark and your no buys, year plus, Jessica getting to over two years, congratulations. It is an achievement and it is such a source of inspiration for me and it gives me this hope that I can do this. Um, so the idea is this will be a replacements only no buy. Um, because I have a habit of getting ahead of myself in things like overstocking and in fact I was very tempted, stupidly, to panic buy before going on this no buy. Like, I was like, oh god, what if I run out of this, what if I run out of that, what if I don't have any more, uh, what if I can't have enough concealer? And I was like, it's going to be a replacements only, no buy. If you run out of a concealer, I'm sure I will have the funds at that time, which will probably be four years from now, to buy a freaking concealer. Because, and my aunt put it so plainly, <laughs> she came round the other day, she came round last, last Monday. And um, she came into my room, into our bedroom. She's like, wow, you still have so much stuff. You're so bald face about it. I was like, yeah, actually I do. 
I thought after like all the decluttering I've done, all the rearranging and storage and it didn't look like much and then someone who's from outside walks into your space and goes, wow, there is so much stuff here. <laughs> it's eye-opening, it's awakening and it puts everything in perspective. I, I'm almost 95% certain that I could go five years without being frivolous, without overspending, without overpurchasing. Sure, if I'm, for example, buying toilet bleach, I don't think it would be too awful to buy two bottles because I can go through two bottles in a month, depending on who's been using my toilet. That is the goal. I will probably do another video actually breaking down my budget. I had actually meant to do that over the summer, posting a monthly budget because I had been I have been working off of a budget since about halfway through May and it's been working really well for me working off an actual written down planned out budget um, we use shopping lists and I inventory all our stuff and we plan a lot um, yes sweet pea but yes I will be doing videos about that along the way as well as periodical updates on how I'm going on and if I'm having any moments of panic I will turn to you guys for guidance and support um, I have a few other videos coming up soon, one of which is things I was going to buy and didn't. Um, you'll have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen a handful of swatches because I was very tempted by some Colourpop palettes. So yeah, I was very tempted by some Colourpop palettes, but I managed to talk myself out of it by swatching things. I was very tempted by the... Um, single shadows that you can create your own palette with. What? What do you see? <gasps> yeah. <gasps> what do you see? Tiger! Uh-huh. Tiger? Where do you see a tiger? Yeah. I was very tempted by, um, I, I like that the, the, the view of the palette in um, having all their greens, purples and reds. It just looks so beautiful when it's arranged like that and I was also going to get the Uh -huh Honey palette and the Just My Luck palette but I was like you know what the more I look at this the more these colours look familiar and the more they look like the more they look like the Boss Mood palette the more they look like the Dare to Create palette from Morphe the more they look like Revolution shadows I already own and I went swatching I went swatch happy and I saved myself 60 pounds. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that from now on anytime. Okay. Don't you touch me with your yogurty fingers. Lovely. I'm, I'm sure people wanted to see that. I'm sure people wanted to see that. <laughs> so whenever I have a moment of weakness I'm gonna have a swatch party or something and bring you guys along with me. So anyways I'm gonna leave this video here and get this menace back to his breakfast and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Wish me luck. If you've got any advice for me, let me know. Um, but as I say, I've got a string of videos coming up about this topic and I'm excited for it and hopefully it can keep the momentum going as long as it's feeling fresh and, and you know, I've got the drive for it. I'm sure I will be fine. It's the moments where it's feeling like a struggle. It's going to be a hassle. Dummy! Dummy? Well, you go get it. It's on your table. Go on. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.